Hi there folks, this is Rod McCormick from McBale Exclusive Catering and today I'm going to be teaching you how to put down a traditional Maori hungi pit. So today I'm going to be cooking for about 30 people so what I've done is dug a pit about three feet deep, three feet long and about two and a half feet wide. I've started piling in the stones to line the bottom and then piled it up with uh, kindling and we're going to make a crisscross pattern with the wood. It's going to burn for probably a couple of hours until all of the wood's burnt away then we're going to remove as much of the ash as possible from the bottom of the pit. The stones will be red or white hot and then we'll be ready to put our food. Now we've got our fire lit, the most important bit. We've got a couple of hours now to get away, get our food ready for when this is all burnt down and we're ready to cook. I've got a shoulder of barbecue pork, a few chickens, a shoulder of lamb and that's going to go on the base of the, of the hungi. So that's going to go in first, they're going to take a lot longer to cook. I've got uh, some trays of pumpkin, underneath there we've got some sweet potatoes. On top of all this once it's in, we're going to be covering it over with some wet cloth. Over the top of that, I'm then going to add some hessian sacks to again add another layer of protection from that soil getting into the food. And because this is all wet, it's going to add a lot of moisture, and which is going to create steam on the hot rocks to help steam the food in the honey. So you can see how much hard work that was, getting that in the ground. We're going to tend this for 10-15 minutes and just really make sure there's no steam or smoke escaping. So here we are, four and a half hours later, a few beers sunk. <laughs> Hungi is just about ready to come out. So we're going to get all the whanau, the family around, and we're going to get stuck out. lamb looks amazing, literally pull apart. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than this. 